Hey everybody, it's Coffee with Mick. Bringing out this discussion about whatever I want to talk about in the morning. Ah, boy. You might have noticed me streaming a bit lately. Uh, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Oof. OBS is a tricky mistress. Oy. Half-Life 2, in terms of gameplay, was apparently... I didn't know this when I played this. If you have a CD in your CD-ROM drive while playing Half-Life... <coughs> it'll play the... <laughs> music from the CD-ROM instead of, like, the music from the game. So, just... Play it, start, boot it up Half-Life, and then World Inferno Friendship Society started playing. It's like, wait, what? That game, that music didn't come out when this game came out. I know this. What? <sighs> Half Life is a game like the like the Steam port is just really awkward to play. Fun, but awkward. I got it. It was a lot easier on the consoles. Yeah, and like uh. When you start it up, it'll often just go straight to black. So you have to, like, delete this one file in order to just go to the startup screen. It's like, it, the, the file being, like, the Valve logo, I think. You delete that and you can start it up fine. Yeah, the things we do to play games. Of course, let me tell you something. Vampire Life? Oh, dear God. Uh, when they ported that to Steam, they barely did anything. They barely did anything with Vampire Life. <clears throat> Where's our sequel? Sorry, prequel. Yeah, why would they make a Kickstarter for a prequel to Vampire Life instead of just continuing the story like what we wanted? You had the rights to the characters. Who was in charge of this? Horrible idea. Horrible idea. Ugh. Games, 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 game on you. Yeah. And, uh, yesterday I might have cheated a little bit while playing Psychonauts to get this one achievement. Where it's like, if you buy something in the store on Christmas, you achieve it, you get an achievement. That's it. That's the achievement. You need to wait for a specific date and do a specific thing. It's the dumbest thing in the world. But I decided to say nay to the wait. I decided to go into my computer settings and change the date myself like the naughty boy I am. And it's then I learned that when you do that, it messes up your internet connection. Yeah, because, <laughs> yeah, like, all websites have, like, you know, renewal dates at certain times. And if you set your computer, like, in the future and go on a website that, from the computer's perspective, it hasn't renewed its website, so it, it'll treat it as a security risk. Ain't that the damnedest thing? Uh, but I got the achievements. Although, when they happens, they're just grayed out because, once again, bad internet connection. It is the weirdest thing to mess with your internet connection, just changing the time on your computer. Ugh. It shouldn't be this goddamn confusing. Or like, my brother, he loved Animal Crossing. He would use virtual time travel to, like, you know get as a million bells like as much as possible it was amazing yeah you just change the date on the gamecube it was simple and yet it doesn't work that way i don't know why animal crossing how do you get so big yeah <sighs>
What else in terms of video game screwery? Uh, the Blackwell files, the Blackwell games, those games are really awkward to play, like resolution wise. Which is weird because those are like modern games, but they made them all pixely and weird. I don't understand you, Blackwell. Well, those are my thoughts on that. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a morning.